There was an interview that Leah did like last year. He was like, you know, you can't say that you accept me as a trans person and then not let me compete in women's sports. There's that other one where Leah's up on the podium and all of the girls are down at like fourth place and they're hugging each other and Leah's just standing by himself. And Matt responded and he was like, you're absolutely correct. I don't respect you. I don't believe you and you shouldn't swim. <laughs> Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Last month, we did a couple of actually uplifting videos about the state of the world and how it feels like the pendulum is slowly starting to swing back to normalcy. We talked about the frat guys pushing back against the literal Antifa on their campuses and holding up the flag amidst all of the protesters. We talked about Target limiting their children's pride line and Trump absolutely blowing Biden out of the water on TikTok, which is just insane. There is just a lot of good stuff happening. And today we have yet another that we need to talk about because there has been a huge win for common sense. Leah Thomas, AKA the country's first transgender D1 NCAA champion has been barred from qualifying for the Olympics to compete against women, which is just incredible news. If you had asked me two years ago, if this would have happened, I genuinely do not know what I would say. Like when we were in the thick of talking about this, watching all of this happen on college campuses, I genuinely did not think this was possible, but here we are today. We have to talk about it. Before we do though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our comment section episodes. So if you guys do not know the Leah Thomas story, do not worry, we have plenty, plenty of episodes detailing all of that to get you up to date. Most of them are actually from year one of the comment section. So if you want a little throwback action, want to jog your memory, we'll link those below. You can go enjoy those. You cannot change the fact that you are literally a head taller than these girls and that your wingspan is, is probably taller than them. I mean, guys, like five years ago, this would have been something that we would have seen on The Onion. Basically, what you need to know is that Leah Thomas, formerly William Thomas, competed at the beginning of college as a man and was ranked in the 400s. And then over one summer, William transitioned to Leah and started competing as a woman. And wow, suddenly was ranked number one in the entire country for swimming and then became the first transgender D1 NCAA champion for swimming. Here is a side by side. Here's William ranked 462nd in the country. And then Leah, wow, somehow, apparently just became so much better at swimming and became ranked number one. So. How do you like my swimming? And one cool fact about Leah and this whole story is that Leah's transition and subsequent victories was actually a very important hero's origin story because tying with Leah and then being told that they were choosing Leah as the winner over her was the incident that inspired Riley Gaines to start speaking out and start her work in protecting women's sports. And here they are with Leah on the podium above her even though they tied down to the second. And I don't know if you guys have seen this photo before, but it is just so iconic. Like I love the fact that Riley did not even try to hide the way that she was feeling. And that is exactly what you should be doing in moments like these. You should not feel like you need to be silenced. You should not feel like you need to hide the way that you're feeling. The only thing that you should be hiding is your personal data when you're browsing online. Now going online without ExpressVPN is like using your smartphone without a protective case. Most of the time you will probably be fine, but all it takes is one accidental drop onto solid concrete to make you wish that you had protected yourself. So now think about your personal data. Every time that you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, or airports, your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. And it really doesn't take much technical knowledge to hack someone. All you need is some cheap hardware and hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling your personal information on the dark web. And ExpressVPN solves this problem. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between our devices and the internet so that hackers can't steal our sensitive data. And I love how ExpressVPN is so easy to use. I've told the story hundreds of times now, but I was required to use VPNs while I was at UCLA and it was the most irritating, aggravating thing on planet earth. There were like four of them. Sometimes it didn't work. It would slow down the Wi-Fi. It was just so bad. ExpressVPN is not like that at all. I actually enjoy using ExpressVPN. All you need to do is fire up the app. You click one button to get protected and it works on all of your devices, phones, laptops, tablets, and more. So you can truly stay secure on the go. So start securing your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Cooper, which will get you an extra three months free. Again, guys, that is expressvpn.com slash Cooper. Again, your data is what you should be hiding, not your face when literal injustice is happening right in front of you, like it was with Riley. Now, obviously, if you guys have been paying attention to the news for the past couple of years since this occurred, people have been battling out this issue on social media and municipal governments, obviously on the federal government as well. And Leah, 
undeterred amidst all of that, set sights on the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics to compete, obviously, in the women's division. Because why wouldn't Leah? Why wouldn't you? Why it makes total sense, of course. But Leah quickly realized that that was not going to be as easy as Leah had anticipated. Because that same year, the World Aquatics Governing Body stepped up and updated their policy for transgender athletes to be more strict. In one article that covered this, they wrote, in June of 2022, World Aquatics released a new eligibility policy for its competitions, stating that male to female transgender athletes would be eligible to compete in the women's categories only if they can establish that they have not experienced any part of male puberty beyond Tanner stage two of puberty or before the age of 12, whichever is later. Up until then, transgender women could compete as long as they lowered their testosterone levels. So this meant that Leah, who transitioned in college, was effectively disqualified. However, still undeterred, Leah hired lawyers and went to court, specifically asking the Court of Arbitration for Sport to reject the World Aquatics new policy in the name of inclusion, of course, because what else? <laughs> what else in 2024? Here's a headline about that from January of this year, swimmer Leah Thomas challenges World Aquatics transgender rules. And yesterday, guys, this is the big news we have to be updated on. Yesterday, the CAS announced their ruling. Denied. All of it was denied. Here's a headline from yesterday. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas loses legal challenge in CAS ruling. Oh, no. Anyway, last week. As Leah should, because there is absolutely no reason why a biological man standing at six foot one with a greater lung capacity, greater endurance, and more significant muscle mass should be competing against women. It makes literally no sense. It lacks all common sense and is completely unfair. And the idea that you deserve to be included, even with all of your advantage and the knowledge of what you're taking away from deserving women is grossly narcissistic. And it has been since the first time you jumped into a pool as a woman. How embarrassing. Now, obviously, Riley was posting about all of this yesterday, and my favorite tweet from her was, now the NCAA needs to strip him of every award, every title and record that he stole from a deserving female athlete. Absolutely. I completely, completely agree. Tristan Tate actually was the top comment. He made an excellent point, and he said, plus, track down every girl who came in fourth and give her the money, scholarships, bonuses, and trophies that she deserved for third place. I literally did not even think about that until I read that comment. Like coming in fourth behind Leah Thomas is more heartbreaking than losing first or second in my opinion, because like he said, those girls didn't even end up on the podium. These women were sidelined because this culture was too afraid of a small mob in the diversity police to stand up for them and their accomplishments. Not anymore. One man commented and he said, a win for women and a win for my daughters. This is such a glimmer of hope that common sense is truly returning. That the mob that pushes this dangerous gender ideology has finally gone too far and has pushed people over the edge. I think people are waking up to the realization that bending a knee to this issue isn't the nice, progressive, or inclusive thing to do. They are seeing that it is actively anti-woman in every single way. And obviously there's a lot more that we have to fix, starting with Biden's absolute butchering of Title IX, but this is already an incredibly strong start. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you are leaving inspired and fired up. And don't forget that you can start securing your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Cooper, where you will get an extra three months free. ExpressVPN is the VPN that I trust to keep all of my personal data safe, and you can trust them too. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash Cooper for a special deal. Thanks for watching.